Uh, one of the inter interesting things I saw is that in order for you to acquire this data, um, I was wondering if there are any sort of privacy issues or privacy-related topics you have to deal with, because what I see in yours, for example, is quite a bit of mapping on streets as you go along with yours, quite a bit of recording in public spaces of people moving around. So how do... You mentioned roadblocks earlier. I don't know if this is one of the roadblocks you were discussing, um, having to deal with certain hurdles in going about your research. It's clearly also uh, a societal challenge. So uh, what kind of technologies do we want? Uh, how can we devise them in a way that they are privacy preserving, even privacy enhancing in, in cases? Um, so, so here, in terms of the research that we're doing, we're uh, at the cutting edge, so we're very aware of those challenges. Um, we're very responsible in what we do with the data that, uh, that we acquire, that we process. Um, if you look at the applications that we envision, so here the vision is really to create something that creates scene understanding capabilities on the device itself. So the device does not need to store video. It does not need to, uh, to transmit any visual data. It's just there in order to provide navigational aids, um, provide uh, scene understanding capabilities uh, to the robotic, automotive, uh, or wearable applications. Now, in for, in as far as technology goes, I think technology can also be, be a great protector of uh, privacy. And in uh, our projects, for instance, I see it that way. It's really like uh, privacy by design. Um, for instance, if you take something like Google Street View, there will be people visible there on the street. And of course, you can blur their faces, but that would not mean that people who know those persons would not recognize them somehow. You could probably identify quite a few people if you, are, uh, you know that part of town. Um, but suppose now you can recognize, indeed, these are people, that's, that's a car, and so on, you can take them out of the model. And instead, when I talk about traffic flows, of course we do not want to show the individual people leaving their door in the morning at 8.35 precisely, and uh, show that in any model. We want to show the typical flows that exist, how dense those flows are, and visualize them nicely, so that it's also a neat thing to look at. But it's all anonymized, and it's anonymized because of the technology. It's the very technology that, in fact, guarantees the, uh, the privacy.